Hi guys! Um, <laughs> I promised to tell a little bit about the cold because I was... Oh, there's a funny sound in here. <laughs> I was running today and for me, you know, I'm, I'm always cold. I'm always freezing. I, I always really have a hard time feeling my hands, feeling my feet and sometimes I'm so cold I can't see out of my eyes, you know? I always have blue lips and um, yeah, so I've been wondering, I've been wondering, okay, why am I always cold, you know? And um, it takes me hours to get warm when, when, um, when I have to warm up again and um, and I try to look into it, so I, yeah, that's one, the one part of it. And but then I realize when I when I run, I'm not that cold. I I jump into ice water, swimming, and then after that, I can walk uh, halfway home, and I'm still not cold. You know, I love running in my bare feet. I run bare feet in the snow today in Budapest, and it wasn't. It wasn't that cold. After? Well, after five minutes my feet start burning, but then when you walk out of the snow, then it's fine. Then you can sit there with bare feet and everybody is packed up in I don't know how much clothes and I'm just sitting there looking at my feet like, oh, it's not so bad. So then being outside, running barefeeted, being warm, then I go inside, I sit, I drink a cup of tea being even more warm, just sitting there talking and boom, all of a sudden I get so cold, I'm freezing, I'm shaking and just the thought of going outside, like, oh, I can't stand it. So what actually happens inside of our body? Why are we cold when we're cold? And of course, as this is the world of illusions and belief systems, it's not the same for everyone. But the main thing is our body is responding to what's temperature. We all know this, all the physical stuff. And your body gets used to one thing, so one temperature, one way of doing it. And when you then expose it for something really cold, then that is the maximum. And everything below that will feel warmer for a certain amount of time. So this is like the logical part, right? Which is really good and really healthy. If we want to survive the cold winters, we should do some... Uh, some cold showering and stuff like that. So our body, our body get used to the, you know, the gap between really hot and really cold. One of the main things, and now I do it again, I go out in some kind of spiritual road. <laughs> but one of the main things in life is we get too comfortable. Ah, oh, it's good. I'm always warm. I take 10 layers of clothes on, so I protect myself. I'm safe. What do we do? We create the safe zone. What is the safe zone? I think to feel safe is amazing. It gives us rest. But when safety becomes a prison out of fear, is it then safe? We, we create these safe zones. We, we do it with the temperature, which we are talking about now, <laughs> but we do it in life. We, we know this, it, it's known, it's settled, people have houses that are like a, a, an aesthetic income, they do the same thing every day because they know it, they drive the same way home, and they eat the same things, stuff like that, because it, it's comfortable, we know it, it's a safe zone. But how much do we actually develop by being in the safe zone, beside fear, fear of coming out of the zone, fear of losing control and for me when I look at <laughs> I'm I'm fucked up at this you know I always take too little clothes on that's honest but when I look at people <laughs> wearing all their layers of cloaks and all the scarves around their face because they are so afraid that they might get a cold <gasps> you know and then the fear of getting the cold actually attract the cold I know that inside of my body I store fear. Um, I feel it because it vibrates with a, a feeling of tendency and a feeling of uh, afraid something's gonna happen like that. But one thing I know is 
I only get a cold if I'm supposed to get one. <laughs> and uh, so I've been walking in minus eight degrees in a t-shirt because I needed to come home after running. And and the cold is not the trigger for the disease. The, the low immune system, the fear, the, the feeling of weakness is the trigger of uh, illness. So just to get that settled, it's not the cold in itself. Actually, cold are killing most bacteria, so you be. <laughs> another thing, um, another thing about this cold thing. When I look inside of my body to understand when I'm cold, it's because I, I have the tendency to leave my body quite a lot. And um, that means that when I am out of my body, what is back is the autonome. Uh, nerve system which are just you know the, the thing that's driving our bodies when we are sleeping and that and that itself have to run my body because I am not in it I am not there to connect with every cell I'm not there to tell my feet that hey we are one so could we please do something together you know so when I when I sit still too long leaving my body all the part where I'm supposed to be active inside of me are sleeping so the autonome system are taking over and apparently my autonome system are just not it's just not that um, awake I have a very low blood pressure so the blood doesn't really reach my toes it doesn't really reach my hands and I get incredibly cold if I feel fear or if I get nervous I get incredibly warm or incredibly cold like our body is an indicator of what we feel it's a sign of <laughs> your here and now status. Um, so, as everybody always is saying, the body is our temple and we should treat it that way. We should listen to it. And we should use time to reconnect with every cell inside of ourselves in whatever form works for us. So, back to the cold. I was running today and I was looking at the snow. It's like wow this is so beautiful I was staring at the Sun <laughs> getting really in love in the Sun and I just felt really warm it, it, it didn't make sense to me at all having too much clothes on you know then I would just feel like in a prison and then I saw all these people with this big layer of clothes walking around and, and me in my uh, very small t-shirt kind of thing like hmm Something just is not fitting here. <laughs> so for me, it is just because I realize in that exact moment, the, the sun, I connect with the sun, I feel the sun, I can feel it inside of my body. That means that I am here. I feel the ground, I feel the snow, I connect with that. That means I am here and I want to be there. And in that exact moment, I'm moving my body. So I am activating the norm system as well. Um, and then everything is functioned. So that was the that was the other perspective of hot and cold, <laughs> and what I've been wondering about when I was running today. And uh, then this barefoot running, uh, barefoot running in the snow, it's so awesome. It's really awesome. So first, I of course run normal, <laughs> just because, or else nothing is working. I'm, I'm really. I'm gonna have to like get inside of this thing and then um, bare feet running between all these people with these 10 layers of clothes on it's just it's just beautiful it's just beautiful like seeing people's reaction seeing how their the world perspective just shakes open like what no she have no clothes on no she have no shoes on like, <laughs> like that I, I really love it and and the feeling the feeling when, when your feet hits the ground, they like, poof, instantly awake, instantly awareness, here I am I, here we are, do something, you know? So all the blood, all the, all the blood needs to go there, everything starts circulating and you start grounding. You really, it's really the feeling of just all the tension that I build up during my run, during my thinking, during my overthinking, because I feel and I start overthinking about what I was feeling. <laughs> so all the tension just literally goes out. It goes to mother nature and all the fear, 
all the fear start, stuck inside of the body. When we go to ground, when we go connect with Mother Earth, we, we really, we can transform that fear, we can get it out. And in these out of our comfort zones uh, moments, like for example running in ice without shoes on, right? Whoop, whoop. So <laughs> in these moments, we wake up our systems that one thing, but we break through fear. We realize, no, it's okay. Nothing's gonna happen. I've been broke, bring, I bah, cannot speak English anymore. I have been broken. I have broken. You guys know what I mean. I broke. <laughs> I broke, broke both feet twice. So I have a lot of, I had a lot of fear of breaking them. So I have these shoes with insoles and I, I got this constant fear. Okay, so maybe there's too much pressure here, maybe too not, little there. Maybe I get too over tense. If I get over tense, maybe I can run tomorrow. You know how the brain is going. So it's so beautiful taking whatever pair of shoes on, start running, feeling the fear in the beginning, continue running, con running through the cold, running through the mountain where you are slippering, where you have no control, you know. But you just are. And then you drop the shoes in the freaking cold. <laughs> Start running. No control. No feeling in your feet. Ice cold. Like if you literally want to break something, you could do it, right? So it's, it's not only that you are present in the body. It's also breaking through the fear. It's coming out of your comfort zone. And I love it. And I guess this is like to make everything short. I always talk too much. So much. So short version. Comfort zone. When we break them. When we break out of our comfort zone. If you go up. If you fall down. It doesn't matter. You get stronger. You get closer to you. And that in itself is just 100% amazing. So I guess my Sunday message to you guys is just find out what is your comfort zone. Look at your life. I'm not telling you you have to go skydive, you know, it's really awesome, you could do it. But just look at yourself. What are you afraid of? Where do you want something? Do your heart desire to feel more or experience something? Everything gets too settled. If it's, if the, if it's this way for you, find out where your comfort zone is and break through it. Just take small steps. What, whatever comfort zone for you mean. For me, it's like I love this running <laughs> bare feet and stuff. I'm not good with comfort zones anyways. But <laughs> if, if I feel a fear of something and I feel it as a block, break through it. Yesterday, I was testing my running shoes. See, everything's about running right now. I was testing my new running shoes and I had fear of using them. I didn't use them in a week, you know. And then a friend of mine, he was supposed to do some photographer of the running. So I had to run really, really fast, you know. I, I had to like put it all the way up because we, we were going to do this thing. And inside of me, the first voice said, fear. And the next voice was like, no, you're great. Don't worry about it. So just branding 22 kilometers an hour and just having fun. And when I stepped off that running board, nothing hurt it. <laughs> Literally, even that my ankle was under pressure before, but it was pure fear. It was all memory of what if, you know? So ask yourself, when you're sitting in your comfort zone, when you're sitting home, people ask you, oh, do you want to go do that? Or should we? Ask yourself, do I want to? Or am I afraid to? If you're afraid for it, go for it. If you want to, <laughs> or you don't want to, be true to that. So, guys, this was just what I wanted to share today, and yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, you're right, I mean, every time I fear, I call you. <laughs> what is your oldest, dearest friend for? So, thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I hope you have gonna have a wonderful week, and yeah, just remember. You are love. You are awesome. And whatever you fear, you can do it. If, if you can think it, you can create it. So, so think good things. No, don't be afraid of it. But 
really look into the beliefs that are set set in your system look into them and ask yourself these beliefs are they serving me in this now or am i holding myself back for what i truly want to do F ask your heart what do i want what will make me happy in this now and just go for it so i tried to make it short i don't know how how well it succeeded but um I just want to wish everybody a good night. Doo doo.